All right, let's see what we can do here. We're going to come up. We're going to take the oxygen away from the fire. We're going to remove the door. Look at your smoke. Look at that smoke behavior. Anywhere between 30 to 90 to 120 seconds. We know there's variables. The door opens up. You arrived on the scene. We know we're getting closer and closer to ignition. See how that cool air is drawing in down low? Can we see that? Yeah, where are we at on the camera? How are we looking? Yeah, Eight, seven, seven, the top. Eight, seven. And just immediately yeah, the back. Okay, immediately the 1200. And that's the limit of this camera. Yeah, so we can so. see that taking place. But now without that camera, you wouldn't know that. Hey, do me a favor, get me one of looking through the camera here. Like, do it through the camera. Okay, here we go. We're going to close it. We're going to open the door. Let's look at the smoke behavior. There it is. And there's our ignition. Instantly. So you can see it taking place. You can see it getting closer and closer. So what we're going to do is we're going to let it heat up. All right? We're going to let the unit heat up. And then what we're going to do is we're going to ignite the smoke one more time. And we'll be able to get even farther away, won't we? Because of the gas and how hot they were. But please think back to when we first started, okay? When we first started, how long did we hold our propane torch in there? So think about how long we held our propane torch in there when we first started to where now I'm gonna come up, I'm gonna take it, and there's my ignition. So we can see how much faster that that's taking place because everything's changing now. We've changed that whole environment, we've changed it all. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let it heat up and now you're the firefighter. You arrived on the scene. The door was closed, okay? And you simply opened the door. Did you hear that? Okay. And now I want you to think about if it's that apartment over there, okay? So it's that apartment over there. The door was closed. You simply opened the door of that apartment. And boom, there it comes, all right? So you, you have to be ready for that. And we want to make sure that every single one of your firefighters are trained for that and they have an understanding of what's gonna take place. So we have that rapid fire behavior event taking place just by simply open the door, there it is. So you guys have all heard close the door. We've been telling kids that for how many years? Forever, right? I mean, we've all heard it when we went to school. Hey, close the door. But now the problem gets into is you're the firefighter and you close the door, okay? So now what? What are you gonna do? Because once you open the door, that's what's waiting for you right so we want to be thinking firefighters like we said the door is closed but i open it what's going to happen it's going to ignite however if i come up and i have the door closed and i wet the door what's taking place here what's taking place yeah yeah that moisture is going to be drawn in there can you see where i'm changing everything compared to earlier? Am I changing it? Yeah. Have I hit any water inside? Yeah. No, but it's drawing in there, isn't it? So now, I have my person on the nozzle. I hit this real good. They're going to crack the door. They're going to put some water in there. Put water in, put water in, and they're going to close the door. What's that water doing inside there? turning the steam, right? 1,700 times to one. Smoke went right away. Totally changed. We changed the environment. We were thinking firefighters. We didn't just throw the door open and throw a ton of water in. We cooled the door first. We did what they call 3D door cooling. So we did that 3D door cooling. We're changing this environment. 